Cataract surgery is the most common operation in America. The symptoms of a cataract involve blurred vision, usually for distance, more trouble seeing at night due to glare, halos, things like that. The only way to really know if your problem is a cataract, however, is to come in for a thorough evaluation to see if that's the problem. Cataract surgery is a very good operation, takes about 10 minutes. We don't use shot stitches or patches anymore, but it is done in an operating room. You lay on your back and you look at a bright microscope light, and what I do is I make a tiny 2.4 millimeter incision in the side of the eye, go in and vacuum out the cataract, and replace it with a plastic implant. Afterwards, you look pretty much like the way you, when you came in. Your eyes aren't red, there's no patch over the eye, and your vision may be a little blurry. The next day, it's, it's pretty good. The newest advancement in cataract surgery, however, has to do with the implant that we place in at the time of the procedure. In the past, we were only able to put implants in so you had very good distance vision. And that was great. You could see well far away, but you still need glass, needed glasses for reading. What we have now are premium lens implants, two basic types. One is for astigmatism, and that's why I brought my football, and one is for people who don't have astigmatism, who want to see both far away, close up, and intermediate without glasses after the procedure. The football represents patients who have uh, 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 astigmatism, meaning that their eye is somewhat football shaped. You may not even know you have astigmatism because your doctor is just putting it in your glasses prescription year in and year out. But if you have astigmatism and a standard implant at the time of cataract surgery, you're still going to have blurred distance vision after the procedure. If we put a toric implant in, however, we'll eliminate that astigmatism and your distance vision will be quite good. If you don't have astigmatism, then you could possibly have a multifocal implant. And that's why I brought the baseball. So this would represent patients who have no astigmatism, their eye is, is relatively round. So those patients have the option of having a lens that allows them to see both far away, close up, and intermediate after the procedure without glasses. These are called multifocal implants. Both of these implants, the toric implant for astigmatism and the multi -impl multifocal implant for the different distances, are well-accepted technologies that have been around for three or four years. The disadvantage of these implants is there is an upcharge from what insurance covers. So insurance would cover your cataract surgery and a standard implant. If you chose to go with either the multifocal or the toric implant, there would be an added charge. But you only have cataract surgery once, so you might as well make the choice that's best for you that will give you the best vision in the long term. It's very difficult to know which implant is right for you without coming in for a screening exam or a thorough evaluation. So we need to look at your cataract, look at your eyes, see if you have astigmatism, not have astigmatism, make sure that your retina is normal. All of these things have to be evaluated and then we, pr we talk to you about your options. Whether you should have the standard implant, whether you should have uh, consider one of the premium implants, either the multifocal implant or the toric implant for astigmatism. So until we actually evaluate you, we really can't talk to you about your options. The bottom line is if you have cataracts and they're bothering you, you should come in for a thorough evaluation and we'll talk about your options at that time.